What's going on guys, it is Jamie, it's Boxing. make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Dillian White beats up and ices Lucas Brown in six rounds to retain his WBC silver heavyweight title in the O2 Arena in London tonight. And this was perceived as a very dangerous fight on paper for Dillian White. It was perceived as a 50-50 there. But as soon as the two men got into the ring and the bell rang, it was clear that Dillian White was going to have an easy time with Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown looked slow. His defense was terrible. Like, he's never really had the best defense anyway. He was blocking shots with his face. He ended up with a cut early in the... Well, late in the first round. And... It was just all downhill from there from Lucas Brown's part and Dillian White just couldn't miss. He was just tagging him all night long with left hands and right hands and Lucas Brown just couldn't get out of the way of any of them. He was beat up, he was tired, he was very slow and he just couldn't do anything. He was just trying to land a lucky shot on Dillian White similar to what he did to Ruslan Chagayev. But Dillian White was in a lot better shape than Chagayev. He's in more of the prime of his career, you know what I mean? And lightning didn't strike twice for Lucas Brown. And he was knocked out cold in the sixth round. Dillian White landed a terrific shot on Lucas Brown. And Lucas Brown fell face first and he was flat on the canvas. And it was a brutal knockout. It was probably one of the knockouts of the year so far. Dillian White made a statement to the other heavyweight champions out there. He made a statement to Deontay Wilder who is the WBC champion and Dillian White is number one with the WBC and people are thinking that is going to be made mandatory soon especially after a performance like that but Dillian White he just boxed the tactics it wasn't punch perfect from Dillian White he still made a few little errors here and there but he got the job done he didn't get caught with big shots or anything like that he was rolling very well and stuff like that and um, Lucas Brown just couldn't land anything on him that could really affect Dillian White or anything like that and Lucas Brown's poor chin was really exposed because people have said in the past that Lucas Brown's punch resistance is questionable like he's been dropped by lesser opponents than Dillian White he was dropped by Ruslan Chagayev and badly hurt but Dillian White tonight just landed that fantastic shot on him and he just wasn't getting up and he was on the floor for a few minutes afterwards needing oxygen and stuff like that and it was not really nice to see but it is boxing at the end of the day and Dillian White did what he had to do and he took Lucas Brown out in spectacular fashion a lot of people were picking Dillian White it's not like Dillian White was an underdog or anything in this fight people saw this fight really as a 50-50 maybe slightly edging towards Dillian White but people were edging towards Dillian White on points no one expected Dillian White to beat up Lucas Brown as much as he did but Lucas Brown yesterday coming in at 264 pounds and stuff like that at 38 years old being in being as inactive as he has been that wasn't a good move from Lucas Brown was this just a money grab by him did he really take this fight seriously at all was he just coming in there hoping to land one lucky shot against Dillian White and sometimes that don't always work out for you and he was on the wrong end of the knockout tonight so yeah Dillian White hands Lucas Brown his first professional loss in a boxing ring, comment below in the comment section, it's JM Sweet Boxing.